tell us a little bit more about your family. Well, I'm very close with my family because it is just me, my mother, and my father. I don't mm-hmm. have any brothers or sisters. That's a good choice, <laughs> by the way. I have a brother. You're not missing anything. That's what I've been told. But yeah. as an only child, you always want to experience that. So sometimes I'll just borrow people. And it, that's the best way because you can <laughs> return them. Yes. That's I like it as long as I can return them and go back to how my life is. Yes, exactly. What did you learn out of this experience? One thing that I really learned and something that I pass on to many other pageant contestants that I meet is that once you're a title holder, it's not about the crown or the banner that you're wearing. It's not about you and what this can do for you. It's about you going out into your community, meeting people, forming relationships. And that's probably the most important thing. I work with the Special Olympics because they have just the most amazing athletes there. Mm-hmm. I work with the PanCan organization. I have a family friend who has suffered from this disease, okay. as well as for diabetes. Both of my grandfathers and my one aunt have this. Wow, that's quite a list. In, in your resume on, online, you mention that your favorite musical is Chicago. <laughs> You know what state you live in. Yes. To say Chicago is favorite anything, what what is wrong with you? No, I absolutely love the remake from seeing it going on to film. That, okay, I love the, the film. Richard Gere dancing yes. around yes, in the courtroom. Yes, I love the dancing version. and the effects and everything like that. But my favorite musical, actually, if you want to talk musical, okay. is yes. West Side Story. Okay, well, that that's a respectable, that, that's a respectable, that's a respectable <laughs> musical. Tim, when I walked into the studio, keep dreaming. You can't get that tape back. I'm not going to give it back to you. Not a chance. (laughs) Well, that was uh, Jenna, and she's here in the studio with us today. Uh, I have to ask you, have you ever been to German Fest down on the lake? Unfortunately, I have not. Tell tell me what I'm missing. Oh, you're missing so much. You're missing all this. But I'll tell you what. We'll make sure you get out. All right. Okay. Now, where you went to school, were there any foreign languages? Did they offer German? And well, when I was in middle school, we were required to take French, Spanish, and German, just a semester of it. So I just had to a, get a, a feel for right, it. Right, exactly. And then once you got to high school, you could choose. And unfortunately, I chose Spanish. Yeah, well. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of people make that decision. <laughs> They're all wrong. <laughs> But, uh, well, you did a great job with her. For uh, Jenna, what are you looking at going into? Well, I'm going to finish school. That's okay. the most important thing right now. Where I'm, are you going? I'm at Marquette University. Okay. And in between my sophomore and junior year, I took some time off. So yeah. we're working on getting A little getting busy finished. this year, I would say. <laughs> I was say. a little busy. Yeah. But I am majoring in communication studies with a minor in marketing. And I'd like to get into possibly radio, possibly television. I'm not exactly sure. Radio would be a waste on you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I tried my hardest. (laughs)